hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is gabby and today i am back with another perfume haul i've got in here eight fragrances some of them are absolutely amazing i love them i adore them i have some fragrances that i'm not like that crazy about them but we're gonna talk about all of them uh, i've got eight perfumes in here all of them are niche some are gonna be a bit more expensive niche the other ones are a bit more like affordable niche uh but yeah perfumes i want to try with some of them one i want to try for a very very long time um and i got actually these fragrances like quite a long time ago i just went to essence and i generally had no time absolutely no time to record this video but now i'm doing it and i'm going to share with you everything that i discovered so before we start if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in right we are gonna start with some uh, fragrances for the summertime spring summer i would say the first two are both from uh, melic perfumes first one this is the presentation everything it's so detailed everything's like handcrafted here we have the first fragrance and this one is scent is a language scent is a language is this beautiful fruity floral scent really really like it but the next one next one i'm obsessed i adore but i do really like this one as well let's spray it in here and now let me tell you the notes okay scent is a language has notes mandarin passion fruit ylang ylang plumeria jasmine and cotton candy you are definitely getting this like you're getting all of the notes i'm not really getting ylang ylang but you, you're definitely getting this like fruitiness from the passion fruit you're getting something also like fresh from that uh mandarin orange it's a sweetness it's like a sugary sweetness just in the background it's just in the background it's not going to be like sugary sweet but it's a sweetness coming from the background you're getting the jasmine. The jasmine is not necessarily a sweet jasmine. It's a bit like fresh and green, just slightly. You're getting that plumeria, which is frangipani. They're like, you know, exotic, tropical flower. And then I'm getting, it's not listed, but I'm getting this like powdery touch. More like, like a, a talc powder. It's a very, very beautiful scent. What I love about Malik perfumes, I got, um, he sent to me some of his perfumes in the past, but I also purchased some of his perfumes. What I love about them is that they're extremely, extremely long lasting. He creates them. He does like the bottle, the packaging, everything is done by him. It's very personal, you know, it's very artistic. Like everything that he does, like, it's, it's in here, the bottle, the design, the perfume, the box, everything is his idea, everything is his creation. Is that this like this massive brand? No, it's a small niche brand. I will not call it indie anymore because people started to talk about it. People started to discover his brand. But it's a small independent brand that really, really does amazing fragrances extremely unique you're not gonna find anything that smells like this generally all of his perfumes are extremely extremely unique and this one is just this like fruity mainly like fruity with tropical flowers and again i'm getting this like powderiness like a fresh fresh talc powder going on not really sure from what note maybe something that is not listed but overall, it's a beautiful fragrance, especially for like springtime, summer evenings. Now, let's move on to the other one, which is not that I like. I'm obsessed with this one. Next is, comes in a very, very similar packaging. Uh, the next one is Live Meaningful Work. Meaningful Work doesn't sound as gourmand as the previous one but for me it is i know the 
this is amazing like this is amazing i feel like nowadays it's very hard to create like a summery fragrance like a spring summer you know the, the fruity fragrance and a fragrance that doesn't smell like anything else meaningful work let me tell you about the notes we have grapefruit bergamot magnolia cedarwood vetiver sandalwood orris butter meaty and benzoin it's just something delicious about it you are definitely getting um the grapefruit it's like a sweet grapefruit a juicy grapefruit you're getting this like floral aspect from magnolia but it's not necessarily floral and then the orris butter and the sandalwood is so creamy. Don't think it's tart because it has sandal, uh, it has um, grapefruit. It's just it's like super super creamy, delicious grapefruit scent. And I'm getting this like might be I don't know what meaty is to be honest with you. It has this like sandalwood. You know when sandalwood goes like a bit gourmand. I'm all, almost getting like a nuttiness from summer, like a creamy nuttiness. I'm not sure my, from where it's coming from. But it's like, it's so creamy. It's kind of like, I never had, but if I would imagine like a creamy grapefruit ice cream. But not, it's not super sweet. Don't think it's super sweet. It still has this like woody base because obviously it has cedar wood. It has a sandalwood. wood. It has the um, iris butter. The iris butter in this is not necessarily like powdery. It's a bit powdery, but it's also like very creamy, very velvety almost. Like buttery. This is amazing. Honestly, this is stunning. I never thought I'm gonna love a grapefruit. I mean, it's grapefruit. What can you do with grapefruit? You, you can do this. You can create this. This is such, such a stunning fragrance. I would say don't be afraid of that orris butter. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful note, but some people might think that it's like too powdery. This one is not powdery. I would say the other one, uh, the previous one, it's a bit more powdery, at least on my skin, to my nose. I know, I know what is mixing with what, like how the nose are mixing together, but I'm getting this, that like powdery, like talc almost um, scent. With this one, it's just this creaminess, like powdery creaminess, goodness. It's amazing. It's stunning. Absolutely love it. Uh, live meaningful work from Meleg Perfumes. All right. The next scent that we have in here, it's going to be a floral scent. And it's the newest release from Room 1015. And this one is Sonic Flower. Uh, I'm really starting to like Iris perfumes. I already mentioned in the past a few Iris fragrances that... I really really like and this one it's a mix between like iris and white flowers here is the bottle I really like that white cup it's such I don't know a spring it generally screams spring like those two colors together they just scream spring like spring elegant and it's exactly how the fragrance smells like sonic flower let me get myself a tester strip oh, here we go um uh, has notes pink pepper carrot seeds oris jasmine petals ambroxan cashmere wood and musk this is that beautiful iris that smells like i don't know like like lipsticky iris it's a sweet lipsticky iris you're getting a little bit of carrot as well like a carrot cake don't think gourmand is definitely not gourmand but it has a like texture of a carrot cake and then out of nowhere after like 10 minutes that jasmine is coming through is this sweet almost like solar jasmine it's like you're in this like cloud of fluffiness you know like lipsticky iris like fluffy iris and then something sweet and bright is coming through that's the jasmine this is what i'm getting 
with sonic flower it's like this elegant almost ro almost like romantic scent i would say if you love iris perfumes i feel like you're gonna adore this thing because it's a different take with that jasmine with the jasmine petals in it it's a different take on an iris fragrance and it's something very unusual for them because all of their perfumes are very bold like extremely bold this one's a bit it does it's still that's project like i'm not talking about that i'm just saying that this one is just a bit more like mass pleasing like i feel like if you like iris in your perfumes it's impossible not to like this one or with the other ones maybe that main note is a bit too strong or it's a bit too artistic i'm not talking about um cherry punk cherry punk it's a masterpiece like the leather is so smooth it's so so okay the other ones one i they have a green one that is like quite green like all of them that have that that character come on their whole aesthetic is very i don't know like rock and roll in your face you know like that style this is different from for them because it's very elegant it's very feminine it's a beautiful beautiful iris perfume see i'm starting to get a bit of that jasmine now especially on my skin i feel like on my skin i was i'm getting the jasmine a bit more like on paper i'm not getting it that strongly but on my skin that jasmine is really coming through so uh beautiful scent long lasting like all of their other perfumes i have two more perfumes from 10 uh, room 10 15 and all of them they're like super long lasting same story with this one um yeah just a beautiful elegant spring fragrance uh room 10 15 sonic flower all right let's change things a little bit uh we are gonna talk about a dark scent a unisex scent um that it's probably appropriate for like more like fall and winter but also if you live somewhere where it's cold this one's gonna be amazing i'm talking about narcotica by narcotica basically i've purchased um uh, dulce diablo from narcotica and absolutely loved it and then they saw the video and they gave me with my order a sample of this one and the other one the newest release and i did really really like this perfume i mentioned it in uh, in that haul where i talked about dulce diablo they saw the video and they were like do you want a bottle of it because we've seen that you really liked it i was like uh, yes please like absolutely this is the bottle looks exactly the same as the one for Duce Diablo obviously it just says Narcotica in here this is gonna be a very strong bold unisex perfume we have notes for Narcotica sugar black pepper cypress cannabis patchouli cipriol vetiver pimento berries amber sandalwood and musk This is good. This is good. Tobacco is not listed. But for some reason, I'm getting some tobacco. Why am I getting tobacco? It's unisex, like I said. A bit masculine. You're getting the pink pepper, but it's not too peppery. Like, it's not, you know, when it tingles your nose, it's not that type of pepper. You're definitely getting that amber sandalwood mix. It's like a dark sandalwood. Still creamy, but dark. The amber is very creamy as well. And then you'll get, you're just getting this like, like almost green aromatic nuances in it. Obviously, it has patchouli, it has vetiver, it has cipri oil, it has cannabis. Don't think of the cannabis. It's not strong on like that note beautiful scent beautiful scent can you hear my dog that was daisy you already met her everyone already met daisy she's famous here on youtube i think i just got a parcel hmm i'm pretty sure i just got a parcel anyway 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 beautiful scent a dark unisex i feel like this oh no man it's gonna be stony but i can definitely like rock this one as well like i can definitely wear this one as well i don't feel like i'm wearing i'm wearing a men's cologne yeah it's like a dark 
amber sandalwood with some aromatic touches absolutely beautiful beast mode like the other one like dulce diablo um this is gonna be stunning 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 for the fall time narcotica by narcotica all right let's move on to a fragrance that was basically on my wish list for three years now um i never found a sample i couldn't test it in selfridges and i i'm pretty sure nobody knows exactly what the notes are um i've seen reviews i've seen comments on fragrantica and i was just scared to blind by it um greta told me about it she was like are you are you crazy like you have to get it it's absolutely amazing but i was like i'm not sure because i know that she can handle more than me like i like my super 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 sweet fragrances um she has i know she can do a bit like more spicy than me she can do um she can do different scents you know that i cannot do when it comes to gourmands we're like we're twin like we're twins like we're sisters when it comes to gourmands uh but with the other ones like the way people described it i just thought that i'm not gonna like it and i was wrong i was wrong again i i sh I should have just listened to her because she knows my taste so well. And in the end, I was just thinking about it. She she recommended it to me like months ago. Um, and I was just thinking about it. And I got a sample finally. And when I got my sample, I was blown away. That, like, I knew that she's going to be right, but just like that, right? Like she was spot on with how this fragrance smells like. Like honestly highly highly recommend you go and watch her channel because she knows her fragrances she knows how to describe them she's amazing if you want to know more about perfumes that like maybe i'm not reviewing go to her channel she has a massive collection you definitely need to follow her anyway i'm talking about zenjof ivory root this is the box and in that box we are having another box just like your standard Killian, Killian, Zerjov, what I'm talking about? I think I'm, I'm still tired from a sense. Um, Zerjov presentation. And here is the bottle. Uh, this is the Join the Club collection. This collection is not that crazy expensive. I think the 50 mil, they're like 150, but then you can find them with like a coupon code. You can find them for like around 120, which is still expensive, but com like, comparing to other perfumes that they have in um, in the in the line it's not that crazy expensive that is the bottle i needed a blue bottle in my collection okay i have some uh, casa morati i have some just um the shooting star collection just like regular collection i need something from this one from join the club ivory root it's amazing it's amazing I'm going to tell you now the notes that are listed on Fragrantica because basically nobody knows the real notes. Uh, we have spicy notes, sandalwood, all spice, patchouli, and basil. It's amazing. It's... It definitely has vanilla. You cannot tell me that this doesn't have vanilla. Um, might have some amber as well. I can smell some amber as well. I feel like if you like initial absolute aphrodisiac or side effect, it's somewhere in that line. Like a spicy, dark vanilla. People were saying on Fragmatica that they're getting something like minty in the opening. Maybe just a little bit from that basil, but it's not bothering me by any means. I got my samples, I took my samples at work and one of my co-workers, he was like, this is amazing, like this is amazing. I was like, I know, right? I'm waiting for a bottle, I already placed my order. It's so good. This is not the right time to purchase it because hello, it's spring, almost summer. Um, but get it, just get it. I mean, don't blind buy it, but go and test it at least because it's unisex. I want to say it's just perfectly unisex, to be honest. It has this like almost gourmand aspect about it, but it's still like spicy and dark. It's not overly spicy. You know, I don't like like overly spicy fragrances. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's that the same like Serge of quality. 
it's so well blended it's not harsh it's not it's a beautiful fragrance it's i'm in love i'm in love i'm in love i'm just annoyed that i didn't purchase it before when uh when she told me about it i mean i knew about it but she we we're just talking about fragrances and i just asked her if she has it and she was like I, are you crazy you don't have it like you have to have it and she was right uh like always yeah ivory root from zerjov stunning stunning fragrance the notes are definitely wrong i can smell some spiciness but i can definitely smell some vanilla and some amber as well so um zerjov ivory root let's move on very quickly to the next one and that is diptyque tam dao eau de toilette i already have the eau de parfum someone was selling this perfume for a very good price i've tested it between the eau de parfum and eau de toilette i preferred the eau de parfum uh, but for this price i had to have the eau de toilette as well tam dao eau de toilette has um rose myrtle cypress sandalwood cedar spices amber musk and rosewood it's similar to the to the um edp or the parfum that one is definitely darker that one has this like almost like incense vibe like you're in a temple in thailand this one is way softer this one is more like your all year round is this like again like woody soft creamy woody fragrance and i'm getting something a bit aromatic as well i'm not sure from where it's coming uh, i'm not getting any rose if you ask me no i'm not getting any rose but the other one the eau de parfum is definitely like this like incense words with some aromatic touches this one everything is just like turned down you know it's not that incense it's not that strong as it's in and it's not incense if you ask me the other one doesn't have incense but i can smell some incense it's beautiful it's just every day you know no brainer maybe not for sp spring summer but fall winter very calming very relaxing um, that type of fragrance absolutely love it generally really like it uh with diptyque there are fragrances and fragrances like my absolute favorite ones are tamdao which now i have the eau de toilette and then eau de well, which is a beautiful vanilla and i have again the eau de parfum and the eau de toilette the other ones i like them but i'm not crazy about them but these two perfumes in particular i really really like so tamdao eau de toilette from diptyque last two that we have in here that actually gourmands and i don't have a full bottle i only have uh, some decans the first one that we're going to talk about it's commodity milk this perfume got super popular i know that it comes in like three um intensity it comes in like uh, i don't know the the biggest one is like bold the middle one it's it's not intense it's called something else I can't, I can't remember. This one is like the middle one. Like not too bold, not too shy. So I don't know how the other ones are smelling because obviously they're going to smell slightly different. Come on. This, <clears throat> I just like inhaled, inhaled too much. Uh, commodity milk has cold milk, musk, marshmallow, uh, maho mahog maho mahogany, mahogany, I think. Uh, mahogany wood and then tonka bean i like it i like it but i'm not obsessed like for me this one is a milky woody perfume i would not say it smells like sandalwood but for that i have l'orchestre parfa piano santal that i'm just obsessed with this one is definitely like heavier you can get you get the milk, but it's not necessarily a very realistic milk. I like I don't know how I feel about it. I wanna say it's generally it's just like milk. It's milk and words as for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I know it just feels a bit heavy on the skin. I don't know. I like it. It has a sweetness as well. I don't think it's like sweet milk is not, but it has a sweetness. I just don't know how I feel about it. Maybe I need to try a different intensity, like maybe 
the one that's not as intense as this one but i like my fragrances to be intense so that's the thing i don't know how i feel about it like i have something i have other milk perfumes that go more into the like actually milk and then i have more like it kind of gives me like it's not sandalwood but it gives me like milk and maybe cedar wood or like some type of other wood but yeah i, I don't know i have piano santal and i really really like that one so i'm not really sure about this that one is not milk just milk but that, was, but that one's like a very milky sandalwood um, and the last one we have biscuit from arte profumi now this one is supposed to be like a cho cacao chocolate fragrance you know i created a chocolate perfume absolutely loved it obviously i purchased in the past lots of other fragrances that have a strong cacao chocolate note and i talked about them like very highly if i really like it i'm gonna mention it i'm gonna um, recommend it to you it's not like oh i created a chocolate fragrance and i'm gonna say that mine is the best everyone has different tastes for me obviously mine is the best but everyone has different tastes this one it generally smells like, I want to say it's just cacao, but it smells like a cacao biscuit. It smells like a cacao biscuit. It has, let me tell the notes. Biscuit has chocolate, cacao, vanilla, coffee, and bitter orange. I'm not getting any orange. I'm not getting any coffee or vanilla. It's generally like cacao biscuit. That's it. In the dry down it starts to that biscuit quality starts to like kind of like fades away and you're left with this more like cacao and vanilla yeah like cacao and vanilla but then like the moment when you spray it it literally has a texture of a biscuit it smells like biscuit i do like it i do like it i have so many cacao chocolate fragrances all of them actually that I have they smell very different one might go into like a dark um more like darks it's more like a dark scent the other one goes like very very gourmand the other one goes into an orange um they're all mixed with different other notes i don't think i have anything that smells genuinely like a cacao biscuit i do like it it's not chocolate it's cacao i do really like it i might need a full bottle of that one yeah i might need a full bottle of that one and from i think they have another perfume arte profumi they have like souk noir something like that i'm pretty sure it's a beautiful vanilla i'm not sure is it the same brand i think it's the same brand they have like a sugary vanilla beautiful fragrance that one as well but i, I do i do like this one because i have lots of i know i have lots of chocolate fragrances and cacao fragrances but this one is different because it has that biscuit quality so that was the last scent um yeah let me know let me know in the comments down below um if you tested any of these if you like them if you don't all of that uh, i hope you enjoyed this video honestly uh, I, I was planning to record this video for ages because i have these perfumes for a very long time now but just didn't have the time um now i recorded it you can watch it let me know in the comments down below if you like them if you don't and um, i can't wait to show you everything that happened at the suns um i did a vlog i'm gonna uh, just just chit chat with you, you know tell you exactly what is happening what is going on at this event i'm gonna have a haul from there i'm gonna tell you what uh, amazing brands i discovered so stay tuned because we're gonna have lots of videos from Essence. so that was it for today thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye